Hello everyone, back with an EDD update. We are continuing to monitor the top two stories coming out of the EDD, which includes where things currently stand in regards to those POA documentation requests, which have now gone out to over 1 million claimants. Meanwhile, the numbers continue to rise for those who've received an EDD overpayment notice requesting repayment of previously received funds they received on an unemployment claim. Now, the latest numbers from the EDD currently show out of 1.4 million claimants who have received that POA work history documentation request that about only 20% have so far responded to those requests. And of that number, about 90% of those submitted documents have been in fact accepted. So at this point, we're looking at almost 30,000 claimants that have so far had their paperwork rejected. One of the top questions continuing to be asked is when can you expect to receive an answer from the ADD on whether or not your documents were in fact approved? And once again, there's no consistency from the ADD on this. Now, some claimants have reported receiving a response in less than two weeks, while others have reported it taking six weeks for that response. At this point, as more of those documents continue to be sent in, people can be looking at a 60 to 90 day wait time on those responses. For those who have yet to upload those documents, make sure to do so before the posted deadline that appears in your UI online accounts. Also keep in mind that once you have uploaded those documents, you will not have the ability to upload any additional documents after that point. So it is important to submit as much documentation as possible to avoid having those items rejected. Now, one thing that we will be seeing more of over the course of January and February are those overpayment notices being sent out by the EDD requesting claimants repay previously received funds they received while on a UI claim. The increase in these notices is going to be tied into those PUA documentation requests, either being rejected or not received at all, but there are other reasons as well. If you were on a regular UI or PEUC claim and received the overpayment notice, then the number one reason you were receiving it is because your former employer is disputing your claim. Every single former regular UI or PEUC claimant who received an overpayment notice and reached out to us over the last several months have all reported it being as a result of an employer dispute. The dispute will usually center around the reason why you are no longer employed at your previous job. In most cases, if someone quit their job, then they should have not been eligible for that UI claim. They ended up receiving that claim in the first place because the EDD had been so backed up processing claims, they were just fast-tracking claims for approval at that point. Between the rejection of PUA documents and former employers disputing UI claims, the next several months are going to see a huge increase in EDD appeals. At this point, the wait for an appeals hearing is still averaging six to eight months, so it is very likely for those submitting appeals now, this will drag into the summer for you, so be prepared for that extended wait time. Let us know in the comments section below what problem you're currently experiencing with the EDD. In the meantime, we will keep monitoring the situation for further developments, so make sure to click on that subscribe button below for future updates on this channel, and thanks for watching.